So, uh, not to delay any further, um, I will uh, welcome our uh, guest speakers. Uh, today we are very honored to uh, have three very, very famous um, um, guest speakers. Okay? Uh, one of them is super famous because he is the TV host. So maybe I welcome him first. Um, his name is Han Bing Poom. He's a TV host of uh, Bright World in China and he also do a lot of uh, business in China. So maybe a round of applause for Han Bing, please. Uh, and the second person is some uh, came from a company where I'm sure everyone knows uh, about this company. Anyone heard of TCC Land before? Yeah. Okay, okay. This is a very huge company, you know, uh, because um, not only they have land all over Thailand, but um, they are very um, successful in attracting the China market. So maybe welcome, uh, Mr. Mr. Anwar Damri. And have good old and have merry round And the third person is actually from uh, a place where uh, you might not expect that they have a lot of Chinese customers. Uh, he is from a hospital. Anyone would guess which hospitals? Paya Thai Sam. Paya Thai Sam. All right, welcome, please. <laughs> okay, so welcome, Mr. Supagon Panawan Hapunke. All right, welcome, please. Okay, please okay. So first of all, thank you very much for everybody to uh, join um, and spend your time for this evening. Uh, I'm sure everybody here are very keen to, to understand about China market and how you guys uh, expand overall. Maybe we get into um, the topic right now. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. We try to get it interactive so that uh, you guys don't get bored at the back, okay? Anyone can, uh, at the back, you can hear me well? Yes. Perfect, okay. Maybe the first question um, go to Kun uh, Oort. Uh, uh, this question, uh, we would like for you to introduce yourself first and, and what kind of, uh, you know, for TDC land and Asia Teak, uh, anything um, you want to talk about, you know, how Chinese market have, have changed your company, uh, how interested in Chinese market. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Actually, uh, I'm just joined TCC for uh, uh, this year, but before I joined TCC, I'm looking for Central Partner. Uh, in the retail industry, but for China market, Chinese target is just start from me from and and at the merge mix, mix and positioning of HD is not just a shopping mall, but inside uh, positioning for uh, complete <coughs> construction for the for the remain phase, they set themselves to become a, a world destination for attraction. Include a five star hotel and another a few coming attraction at ACT and uh, and for next phase we plan to expand this brand to become a uh, destination for to major city of Thailand in Chiang Mai and Pattaya. Okay, thank you very much. Do you remember um, what kind of number of uh, Chinese uh, customer do you have? Actually, we have around average one uh, per day around sixty thousand per. Chopper per day, and sixty percent of that is a uh, tourist, and sixty percent of of that is a Chinese market, Chinese tourist. So sixty percent of uh, sixty-five yes. uh, thousand. Okay. So anyone here would like to have this kind of business that you have uh, over sixty uh, thousand people um, come to uh, check, come to your um, business? Anyone? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Maybe um, I ask you, uh, uh to introduce yourself and uh, how Chinese market have changed your, your, your life? Well, Jennifer, please, um, I have to apologize about my point in this because I live in China for 10 years. Jennifer, I'll be there and I'll be the host. So what kind of the change in my life first? I got the money. I'll be the rich. This is the most important thing. Why? Because Chinese customer is a big market. They have a lot of money. So when they spend, they spend a lot. For example, for PR project, not just only one million, not just only two, but ten million. Just for one TV show, one series only. That why they can change my life. It's mainly because it's a big country. I have a big money. 
really yes. straightforward. Um, this whole uh, this TV um, program, maybe um, maybe none of you have heard about it because it's very famous in China, but uh, not so famous in Thailand because you know it's in Chinese. Um, right now, he's very good at uh, he's speaking Chinese uh, in this TV show. Is that correct? Yes, we speak Chinese inside because nobody can understand English. This is a very important thing. But uh, we have more than 100 million followers for this TV show, just online, and 10,000 just on online only. Okay. So it's a really big market. So 100 million uh, viewers. 100 million followers, that's, um, to put it into perspective, that's more than Thailand population. Okay. But it's not that big because in China, yes, we have a lot of people inside. Okay, yes. So um, one thing that I um, noticed about China is that uh, whenever China say, uh, I want to um, acquire or buy a company in Thailand that has uh, the hugest or biggest company in Thailand, but um, their big and our big is different kind of big, you know. In relative term, our big is, is for them is, is very tiny. <laughs> so that's that's actually one of the first point you have to bear in mind uh, when you go abroad and try to expand in China. Okay. So um, finally, okay, maybe um, uh, just share a little bit uh, on your yourself and uh, your company. Uh, I come from Pyongyang Thai Three Hospital. That's last last five years we we have uh, uh, most of uh, our uh, patient is Thai, but but we face some problems that. Uh, uh, during the, the political crisis uh, and the Thai uh, purchasing power is, is lower. So we find a new revenue stream for our business. So we <coughs> think that, that China uh, uh, that's uh, coming up to, to Thailand for tourism. For tourism. So the Thailand is a uh, medical tourism uh, destination for the Chinese, Chinese uh, customer. So so we, we try to uh, Interview our hospital, our service for treatment to, to them, and and so far we we, we got an application from China. Okay, um, right now um, as you can see, we have uh, three different uh, people from different kind of uh, industry. Maybe um, put your hands up if you like uh, in this kind of industry. Okay, um, so medical industry. Anyone in medical industry? Okay. Anyone in accommodation or hospitality industry? Okay, uh, transportation, okay, and uh, beauty and cosmetic, okay, and anyone else that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, call out. Okay, perfect. Uh, what are you guys um, doing? Uh, uh, I'm in tourism industry. Tourism industry. Okay, tourism industry. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, I think uh, one thing to take away when we uh, have uh, the discussion, right, uh, is that uh, even though uh, we are from different industry, there's a lot of things that is very common in terms of uh, China tourism and China consumers. So uh, that's a very important point uh, so for you guys to, to listen to, okay? So let's move on to the next uh, question because we have like 10 questions here and uh, we have only less than an hour, okay? So should we get cracking? Should we get carry on? Yes. Okay, perfect. Second question is then um, for uh, maybe for you first. Um, how do you prepare to expand to China market? Like you know, before how have you expanded in China? How do you prepare yourself uh, to to do that going forward? Uh, actually, actually, now existing now is only first phase for a uh, shopping mall and retail attraction, but. For expansion for in internal, we plan for expansion for second phase is a hotel, another phase is a like a close close mall or a physical mall like a, another mall for international brand for, to match with the target of hotel and maybe another attraction on the river or separate another attraction for uh, international target more than Chinese target and for the prepara preparations for this brand. Actually, inside of AHT, they try to set some attraction. For, for example, for Pattaya branch, we're looking for news, uh, like a change in size, change service, and change uh, uh, service inside for target like a Russian target and, it, and mix with China. At the same time, we prepare some uh, payment portal that to support some Chinese market too. Okay, so so I think key takeaway is uh, one uh, payment portals. 
Um, anyone know that in China, right? Right now they use a, uh, their own unique uh, payment portal, which is WeChat. Anyone know WeChat? And also Alipay, correct? So um, does that mean that in, in HTT, uh, most of the shops Actually, at, at, the, at the first uh, construction, we didn't prepare anything service like this for tourists. But right now, for expansion and for another branch, that very big concerns for uh, tourist uh, Chinese market because they have a step like a standard of this world to payment via their uh, platform. That's a, that, I, I'm not sure from every uh, industry that's fair is probable about, about this or not, but for retail and daily transaction like a shopping mall, this is a very big issue. Big issues. Okay, and I understand that uh, before ACT bring in a lot of tour uh, customers, is that correct? Uh, but nowadays, uh, you mentioned earlier about um, uh, it's more FFIT or of uh, actually portion uh, of to a uh, Chinese tourist in ACT uh, already switched to more than fifty percent to become a FFIT uh, tourist, but for traditional op to operators still uh, remain, but the the, the growth the, the growth that mostly come from the FIT segment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, for some of you who is not in uh, tourism business, FIT is stands for Freedom Independent uh, Tourism or Traveler. Uh, it's uh, people who actually book their own ticket, uh, come by themselves, and uh, you know they don't come in tour basically, right? Uh, and if actually this group have a high spending, high spending also have uh, available time to shop and spend more than the tour operator. That we try to focus this market so a lot. Mm, okay. Okay. Maybe um, come to okay. Um, actually, do you in for for your hospitals? Um, do you target similar? So half is tour and half is uh, FIT or how how do you normally expand into into China? Uh, first, that we uh, the our strategy to expand to Chinese. Uh, in my part, we Chinese is uh, China market is very uh, quite different from from Thai market. Uh, they have a uh, different culture, they have uh, different uh, behavior or habit, and they use the different platform. Uh, they do not use Google, they use Facebook. Uh, uh, instead, they do not use Facebook, they use uh, uh, WeChat instead, for example. So, uh, in order to penetrate to the, the market, uh, we said we find the representative that uh, they are expert in the market. Because we, at that time, we do not know uh, or get the deeper insight or understanding the market. So we, we, we find the, the right one, the right partner that can do uh, uh, the marketing or penetrate the, the, the market for us. So we visit uh, the representative in, in the major city, right? Uh, uh, for example, uh, the Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen. Uh, they do the marketing for us, uh, and 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 they know how to to engage with the Chinese customer, and they know how to use the appropriate platform to uh, in the effective way. So at at, at that time, we, we use the representative to refer the location to us, and 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 uh, at that time, it worked. It worked. Um, so, uh, for those of you who is not in um, medical industry, maybe uh, share a little bit on uh, what kind of service or product that Chinese customers uh, come to Thailand for. Uh, they come for uh, uh, medical checkup, uh, uh, annual checkup, and also come from the anti aging, uh, 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 hormonal or curation, and and uh, most popular one is infertility. They, 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 uh, now they, they, they have the second child pregnancy, so they, they have to uh, uh, do the infertility, uh, seek infertility uh, treatment abroad. So, so they go to Thailand because uh, last last few years we do not have a regulation about surrogacy and also the safety selection. So the the the, the uh, couple that come to Thailand, they can. Uh, 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 have the sex selection, but in China, in China they cannot do. The government are not allowed it, uh, them to do. So they come to Thailand to 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 uh, do the infertility and, and also uh, they can uh, select the, the 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 gender of of, of that child. Oh, okay, so so uh, that's called IVF. 
Yes, yes, IVF, IVF. Yeah. Uh, so in this IVF, basically, in the, a lot of uh, Chinese couples want to have babies, so they come over here. Yes, yes, yes. I understand it's, it's illegal in China, is it? Uh, no. It's illegal for, for surrogacy and for uh, sex selection. Okay, and now it's still okay in Thailand to do that? Yes, yes, to, uh, but uh, last year the government <coughs> issue changed. They, they not allow us to do the surrogacy, except the, the uh, female uh, is have criteria. I mean, uh, they they older enough, uh, they age more than 35 and have the, the abort, um, abort. Uh, history, yeah, much history. Oh, okay, okay. So, so it's actually a quite big thing uh, in in Thailand for Chinese customers to come over for a little bit check up for IVF. Um, if you see the number or the way that they come, it's it's, it's quite a lot. And uh, surely the value for each IVF is, is pretty high, also yes, right? yes, a yes. big margin. So you mentioned earlier that uh, you partner with uh, a lot of people in in, in China. Yes. Uh, yes. How around how many partner and how do you select a partner? Uh, we have um, our three three partners. Three partners. Yeah, in different right. location. In different location because uh, in each city they, they they have the the expert in 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 uh, each city. Mm -hmm. So so we have the uh, representative in Shanghai and and, and different one in Shenzhen. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. So um, have you uh, or the or the um, hospital overall has you guys tried to expand yourself? Um, or the before, right? Before finding partner, have you tried uh, go and then grab customers in by yourself before, and you find some roadblock, so you find uh, instead find a partner, or is that has always been your plan to go for partner? Uh, we at that time we we, we do not uh, know a lot about about the China market, so uh, it's it, it's the easy way and ineffective way to, to find the right partner to do the business. Uh, so so key takeaway there is, is to find right partner in China. Yes, yes. I think yes. because uh, Chinese market is, is huge and uh, I'm sure a different location in China has different uh, requirements and preference by uh, Chinese customers. So uh, finding right partner is, is something that uh, we see a lot of um, company do and uh, successful, very successful. So maybe I'll pass it on to you, Han um, Bing. Uh, since you are there for nearly 10 years yes. and, and you, I, I know, I know that you do business uh, between China and Thailand also, yes. right? You help a lot of Chinese customers to expand into China as well. Yes. And also doing a lot of like uh, live TV and all those. Uh, so maybe share a little bit of your experience on how like Thai customers or Thai companies, uh, how do they expand in China? Any, is it anyway like, uh, you know, go by themselves is better or is it more of partnering? Do you see this kind of? For my opinion, they can go by themselves and they can do it for everything but the most important thing you have to understand the law of China because for different what they call some one point one point province province sorry I said to know it in Chinese they call some <laughs> because in every province they have their own law and for example when you go to Shanghai they have Free trade. 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 But in the free test zone, they have the whole law. If you go to a Nanjing, okay, you want to start your company by your own, by your own self, yes, of course you can do it. But you have to wait at least six months alone. But if you go to a free test zone, just only seven days by your own self. So easy. So be before you go to China, what you have to prepare, for my opinion, you have to study the Chinese law. And you want to make point where you want to go. You want to go to China, which part of China you want to go to Beijing, you want to go to Tianjin, you want to go to Shenzhen. Every place, everywhere, they have their own law. So it's more easier if you understand law and go to there. Yeah, that's all. I see. Okay. And um, do you see most of the Thai company uh, do it by themselves? Like, you know, or go with like uh, Thai tourism authority in Thailand? Or do you see them partnering up with them? What do you do? Actually, uh, for, my, for my experience, a lot of Thai people like to go by themselves. 
and when they go over there, they'll find the partner. But after one year or two years, they just come back and say, Oh my god, the Chinese people are so bad, they like me, I hate them. <laughs> a lot of people say like that, but actually I don't think so, because you can find a good partner. But because Thai people did not study what kind of law were there, they just go and find a partner, and they believe it's a good partner. But after one year, unfortunately, it's all lie, because it's illegal. So, uh, I see a lot of Thai people go over there and some is so success. For example, Zheng Ta Ji Tuan. What is that? Zheng Ta Group. Zheng Ta is huge. It's huge there. Yes, it's, it's huge there. For example, Zheng Ta Yes, it's really big. They go there and they call, they call partner is the Chinese government. Why they know? Because before, uh, just when the Chinese market start to open, in Chinese we call the Thai farm, it's in uh, 30 years ago, in 80s. They go over there and they study how to invest and where they can invest. And how to find a partner, which one is a better partner that they can find. So now this is almost 30 years, they so success. But now a lot of Thai companies go there and they I, I want to invest in China. And I, have my good friend, but they don't even know where they live. Or maybe they know they live in China, they live in Shenzhen, they live in Beijing, but they don't even know the place that it, they live. What kind of law that they have? Some part, the foreigner can have their own company, like me, like in Nanjing, in one part of Nanjing, which is called Gulo Chu, Gulo District. I, I can have my own company and I don't have to have a partner. But if I change to the next part, just find it off for my home in Pulo District, I have to have find a partner. So I think I think it's very interesting uh, on on China regulation because uh, as I say, China is big, right? And uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, the way they control and regulators around different uh, provinces is different. Also, whenever you want to expand to China, make sure you have a lawyer or or advisor there with you. Um, because uh, as I know before, before I used to work for a consulting company in, in Beijing also, and our sole purpose there is just to help Thai client uh, talk to uh, Chinese government. So we are lobbyists at that time. So it's very important. A lot of uh, company Thai company fail uh, because it, they don't have the right partner or they don't want they don't know um, what's the regulation and uh, what's the best way forward for for a different location. Okay, so that's a very very good point. Uh, and also, uh, I, I remember that you know, uh, for for Pia Thai, uh, they partner up. Uh, but how about for for TCC land? Uh, how do you do you partner up with somebody in China, or do you go there by themselves, yourself, or do you have a support? Actually, we we strategy for China market is a uh, the answer is a like an ally industry is a short haul target. That means only two or three hours for for fly to Bangkok. That the main target for uh, Chinese tourist target for ACT or TCC retail group. During to uh, the, 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 the positioning and target for Chinese uh, tourists for Thailand is not a luxury target. We and mostly destination for Thailand is uh, like a tour operator. Uh, almost fifty percent is become a tour operator. That's that we concern about the budget for total pack. For, for trip to in Thailand. That's why Chat Hall is very uh, key, uh, key concern. Then for the next presentation, I will have the, the number of the Chat Hall and low cost uh, partner that the key success for uh, to, uh, tourism and shopping mall. Okay, uh, maybe maybe someone uh, from Big Korea just help open a presentation. Uh, and someone we know uh, for the next one. Okay. Actually, this is the uh, the right partner for for uh, retail and to, uh, hotel operator should be a TA, TAT. TAT, yeah. Um, because TAT have a uh, representative uh, in, uh, a lot of representative uh, office in China, and they work so hard, and they're looking for like a new product and new information from all of Thai service to promote in China market, and the very effective to work with the actually be very. ACT very effective to work with the TAT uh, in, in terms of uh, attraction for Bangkok and attraction for Thailand. 
So what kind of uh, support do they, do they normally give to Thai? Uh, actually, they support for all, like uh, coordinate anything with the, with the location and set up some right partner to make the business matching. Funny, funny spring, this comes from TAT that I joined a few months ago at Chengdu province. This is information from TAT, but uh, I don't, I, I, I'm not sure everybody here has seen this before, but that's very effective information. Okay, go on, please. Actually, only this province. Uh, actually, Chengdu province, so that's bigger than Thai population or about Thai too. That's enough for market or company in Thailand. Actually, it's fine. I, I can share this for you later. And this is good. And this is our portion and uh, marketing size for tourists and hotels and hospitality industry. Actually, for total population, the capacity of the flight is only 1.5 million per year. But what the target of your product and what the target of your uh, of your service that's looking for from tourist Chinese. And Chengdu is a one of five major cities and it's very big. It's a main of a rich province and rich city of China. That don't, don't concern about the spending and uh, effort, effort in, uh, spending power for this country. And they have, okay, can, and, okay, next please. Okay, next please. Uh, the portion is on the uh, is a race on the on the right corner. The portion that's become before that become the scheduled truck uh, scheduled flight to Thailand, mainly to, uh, to operate their set of charter flight. And 70% 70 percent of the tourists from Chengdu fly to Thailand is come from charter flight. That's mean that a lot of uh, demand in this in this province to go to Thailand, but it's not the Daily, but still have like a, uh, a long weekend, some occasion that's planned to tie. This uh, just now is charter flight, flight? Uh, yeah, 70% so, so of the uh, flight to Thailand is come from charter flight. This is very surprise for us uh, to, 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 to make. And, this, and, this, and some charter flights have not the VM Bangkok. That's a very big concern for uh, our expansion to go to Pattaya and Chiang Mai. Because from Chengdu, they cut off around one hour to, to, to land in Chiang Mai, or maybe change destination to land in Uot Park in the future, in the near future. Okay, and this is a portion of uh, marketing penetration strategy for uh, ACT. One is uh, to operate that we st still keep the relation and still keep the update. Actually, we work closely with them. And online travel agency. For OTA part, uh, our, our attraction work closely with, with, with OTA because they manage, they, uh, they sell it by themselves. But all of this is uh, uh, under managed by ACT marketing team too. And this is a, a segmentation for only Chengdu province. For the suggestion target group from TAT, that they, they have a big office at the Chengdu. Sixty percent of Chengdu is switched to FIT group. If I'm I can share this for you. And the, the another part is a okay, next please. Honeymoon and travel is a one of a key target for TAT to set uh, set Thailand to become a destination and have a special segment for this. And one of interesting information from China 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 market is Government already closed around sixty percent of golf course in China, and demand still remain. That uh, uh, as uh, I had a group to uh, have a workshop in Chengdu. We have a big golf course in Chiang Mai that's already that very successful to catch up uh, the golfer in the uh, short haul uh, flight from China too.
It's called Gas and Good. Okay. Um, a round of applause for that presentation, please. That's very really detailed. Detailed presentation. Uh, thank you very much, um, Knorr. Uh, actually, one thing that I noticed is that um, there's there's actually two group of people that you focus on. Uh, one is tour tour um, op operator. Uh, those are the one that you know bring in a charter fly and you know uh, thirty people at a time, or maybe the whole charter fly is like what three hundred something like that. Uh, and another part is FIT, so individual people who come. Um, and you guys actually partner up with uh, OTA, uh, which is online travel agency. Uh, normally in, in Thailand or, or in abroad, you guys use uh, anyone use some um, uh, TripAdvisor before? TripAdvisor, uh, Booking.com. Agoda? Yes, uh, but Chinese people didn't use all that. Okay. <laughs> what did they use? What did they use? I never used that. Actually, the popular is C3. Yes. I use C3, I use Elong, I use Shuna, I use Lumama. Have you ever heard of those? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so smart you have a user body. Because, for example, Agoda and even Google, it's cannot open in China. Mm. So that's why I have to use this platform. Yes, actually, actually, one thing that a uh, very good key takeaway is that uh, a lot of things in China is blocked. So um, normally we use Google, right? When we ask something in China, what do we use? I do. I do. Okay. That's all we have. Uh, also, um, normally uh, we use Facebook. Facebook can open in China or not? No. 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 Okay. What did they use? WeChat. No. Weibo. Uh, Weibo. Oh, Weibo. Uh, we should. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. We have Red Red. For Instagram. We have Weibo and for Line, what app we have WeChat and for PayPal we have Ali Pay, Alibaba. Okay. <laughs> Alibaba. How about how about uh, Amazon? Amazon. Oh, thank God that we have Amazon in China. Oh, we do. Okay. <laughs> uh, but you guys also have Taobao and Alibaba. Yes, but a lot of people prefer to use Taobao or Alibaba. Okay. So maybe that leads to my next question then. Uh, if if uh, the audience want to target Chinese customers uh, mm -hmm. online, for example, what channels or what do they need in order for them to, to market? What kind of uh, marketing technique would you advise them? So you have to understand now the Chinese people love to use internet. And it's better in Thailand a lot. If you, it's a, if you are Thai, but if you come from European, maybe it's not. Because in Chinese market, they can open YouTube, Google, or Facebook. So you have to understand what kind of thing that they use. For example, Instagram they don't have. So if you use on Instagram or you on Facebook, nobody know and nobody care because it's illegal if you open it. I have one of my friend who always use Facebook in China, and one day the police call. Why you use this? Oh my God. <laughs> Because it's not me, because I have my fake name. But in China, we use Weibo, we use WeChat. So, what you choose to use, I don't know, because they have a lot. But you can understand, for example, the target group of Europe. If they are the teenager or the white collar, maybe 30 or 35, they love to use Weibo. If you know your target, you can find what this target use in the online, this is one thing. But the most important thing, what is this? Yeah, content. The content. Actually, if I can use my Chinese, it's going to be better. <laughs> but they don't let me use. And the first time when he called me, I said, like, can I speak Chinese? They said, no, just only in English. It's so bad. <laughs> but the most important what is this is about content. For Thailand, it's a good country. A lot of people want to fly here to here to spend the vacation here. But why? Because they know, oh, it's a good place. But when? When they know. Have you heard about the one movie? Thai Chong, The Lost in Thailand. Oh my god, just because this stupid movie. I, I say stupid movie. Because it's not that fun, but I don't know why the people like it. But inside, it has a lot of content that make people interesting about Thailand. So a lot of million people from China fly to Thailand. It's the same for your, for your company. When you use the target, and when you use the channel, but if inside the content is not good for Chinese people, it's still nobody care. 
I have a million followers in my Weibo, and also in my TV show. Not because I'm handsome. I know it's for a long time, but you don't have to say it to me. I know it every time I saw the mirror. But it's because the story inside, because the content. You have to understand what kind of Chinese people think, what kind they think is good. Because something, for example, your product, you think, oh it's, my God, it's so good, it's so best. But for them, it's like, oh God, it's so stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because today I go, I have the, I have just only 10 minutes and I, I have to leave because I have the, <laughs> the other TV show that I be host. I have the Chinese movie star who also have a lot of money. They come to see a program and they say, oh my God. For this day, they said, this is a good Thai designer. This is the content. But for them, the Chinese people bring the bag suits and say, oh my God, it's so ugly. Even it's better that in China, maybe it's be cheap, but this content, this not that kind of they like. So uh, if you ask me, not only you have to find the right channel, but inside you have to make the good content to make them interesting in your product. That's fine. Okay, so um, thank you for that. I think the key takeaway is, uh, is, is content uh, because uh, as, as you know, um, the cheapest way of uh, to market to any other to any market at all uh, is to do uh, viral marketing. You know, in China we see a lot of viral clip video like Miss Ye who say, like, uh, anyone seen like um, this Chinese lady in the office and uh, he used she used all the yeah. Um, yeah. office application to cook some food. Yeah. You know, see that? Yeah. Yes. So even that, right, is something that go viral. Yes. Uh, what we, because one of the biggest viral clip is mine. Oh really? Okay. Yes. Okay. So so any um, any advice on how to do those kind of viral clips or, or how if if all of us want to get exposure to China, what is in your opinion the best way? Uh, before I go, I like the Cinderella. When the time comes, I have to go. <laughs> but the last thing I have to say to you first, my TV show is called A Bright World, and the first time nobody care. It's about eleven handsome guy from the country and talk about the country and China. Nobody care, but after that, uh, my TV station decided to make a viral clip about the culture, the different culture from each country. But how? If you just say, this is Thailand and this is Kulu Pan, but this is America, they have a different. Nobody want, nobody want to see, do you want to see like this? No. So they made the viral clip, they used me and let me decide how, how Thai and Japanese different. For example, in the, when they use English. So I decided I just, yes, a lot of people in China, they have their own style English. Like, Mai Tang Lao is McDonald's. Khen Te Ji is KFC. What's um, uh, Starbucks? Starbucks, Sing Parker. <laughs> they have their own name. They have their own name and they have the, the Chinese style name. I, I studied PSD and I read a lot of books and I said, Oh my god, it is a bee. It is a bee. Beach. Oh my god. Who is cheap? The Queen Elizabeth II. Wow. It is a bee. It is a bee. It's in like beach. <laughs> I'm so shocked. <laughs> but for in this point, because they have the point about the language. So I just decide um, the Thailand restaurant and I have the Japanese customers to come and use Thai style English. And the uh, Japanese customer use the Japanese style. So when I come and they say, oh, good morning, what do you want? I just, good morning, what do you want? Oh, you want a hamburger? How much are these cost? Oh, 10 baht. How much? Oh, it's very expensive. You can choose this. Like this. When you make a wire brief, or when you make something, you have to understand the culture and what kind of it is culture they like. When you can point out and when you can bring it out, a lot of people start to interest in you. Because it's wire brief, it's not only 10 million, it's 10,000 million for share. 
and it's make my TV show is bigger. So go back to you. If you want to make a company in China, the most important thing is not you have a good product because everybody said I have a good product. But the most important thing is how do you how to make the Chinese people interested in your product? It's really important. Some Thai people or even from America and European, they just think when you can put your product inside Alibaba and then you're gonna be rich because everybody can buy it. Unfortunately, they have a million people put inside. It's like a sea, it's like an ocean. How you how the people can find? So you make you make you have to make them know who you are and interested in you. And after that, you can sell for them and you can make your company bigger and bigger. For example, HAT and Paya Thai, who care about HAT, who care about Paya Thai, is in the Thailand. But they have story inside. The first for HAT is so, is a cool place. If you, if you see in you know, Wei Fo, a lot of people who come in Thailand, they say, Mei Gong Fei Chang Piao Liam, is it Shisha Man? The Japanese river is so beautiful, and we have the HAT, it's so romantic. So, so I think I think your point is is very uh, on the nail that so you um, uh, say the content is very amazing yeah it's very important everybody say that the product is uh, it's that, that old product is very good anyway right like um, for example yeah. I think I'm so handsome but it's not <laughs> so I, I so have it's, to it's not about how, 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 how good product you are or how handsome you are it's about marketing okay yes. Key message in marketing. Maybe we can talk on a little bit on, on how to uh, how different uh, you know differences between Chinese and uh, Thailand customers. But uh, I know that uh, it's a time that you uh, sit at a time, right? Yeah. Need to go. Uh, I have to go. <laughs> so so um, just thank you very much. Maybe a round of applause for Han Bing for sharing. I'm sure from. Uh, other companies also they have their own products and they want to push it to uh, to China. Um, they know they thought that they can put it on you know Taobao, blah, 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 uh, good access, uh, but that's actually just a sales channel. You know, um, Chinese people can buy through those channels, but not no one's going to know about that that particular product if you don't do marketing. And one thing that he touched upon is content. Uh, I know that Thai people and Chinese people, although we are very much related in some way, uh, but uh, the taste or the likeness of, of, of each content is different. So let's lead me on to the next uh, question uh, to you, Kunke. Um, have you seen, uh, from your experience, uh, what differences do you see between uh, Thai customer and Chinese customers? Um, if you can share a little bit on uh, maybe experience that Chinese customer come to your um, to your hospitals, uh, what kind of service you need to provide, or uh, the marketing-wise, how do you uh, do you use different strategy to attract different kind of people? Uh, uh, in our hospital, we, we focus on the uh, middle class and, and upper class uh, Chinese customer. Uh, so uh, the difference between the, the the behavior of the Thai customer and the Chinese customer, I think the Chinese customer they they. Uh, we can, I think we can charge for premium price, but with, with high quality. And, and I think the status or the sales is very important to, to them. Uh, uh, we, we call the, the luxury Chinese uh, customer that, that go to our public they, they have the treatment, but during the day they have the treatment, they, they also uh, selfie and post uh, <coughs> online on the WeChat and show to her that or impress herself to to her friend and family. I think I think the they command for more more uh, quality and, and, and mm -hmm. very very uh, premium service. And, and that's why we, we, we provide we call the Chinese speaking care <coughs> coordinator that look after uh, the, the, the patient or the customer uh, uh, at the China and also at the first city. And, and during the day, they have the treatment in hospital. And, and, and also, we have the, uh, uh, this uh, coordinator to serve with them after the, the treatment also. So I think the uh, 360 uh, service that, that they demand is very important for, for, the, for the Chinese customer. Uh, 
Um, I, I thank you very much. Uh, I noticed that a lot of uh, Thai people, uh, when we talk about uh, China market uh, or Chinese, right? We actually have for the impression that you know they're going to come in group, very noisy, um, very um, you know straight to point and shout ar yeah, around, yeah, yeah. very noisy. Uh, do you experience that? Is that true, yeah. or is it um, just a certain part of uh, Chinese uh, customers? I think they they quite noisy, but I think. Uh, uh, at, uh, we we uh, look after our uh, Chinese customer. I think they, they need uh, more privacy and, and, and not not uh, I mean noisy uh, that that uh, much much. So you don't know that? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's normally noisy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> still noisy. Okay. <laughs> Um, but um, I understand that that's actually uh, if you target a middle class and high class, right? Is that why? Why do you go for those kind of level? Why do you go for uh, more middle class or lower, um, which has more, more? Uh, we we have the uh, research agency uh, front end event that study uh, the China market for us. Uh, we we yeah. may I ask um, is it uh, th Thailand based or is it? Uh, in the, in the Chinese base, okay. yeah, yeah, China base, uh, and, and they conduct the the, the research and they found that uh, uh, the rising of the, the middle class in China is, is, is growing very fast. Uh, at last year, they they account for around twenty five percent. That that is a middle class, and then around four percent for for upper class. But uh, uh, they forecast that uh, uh, at the 20th uh, 20 century, uh, yes, uh, the middle class will go to around uh, 58%, and the upper class will go to around 6%. So uh, that's middle class and upper class is, is uh, taking uh, around more than 60%. So I think it's very, very uh, uh, potential market for us. For okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, I think we have around five to ten minutes. Um, I'm just going to wrap this up before I open up for the Q and A. Is that okay? Okay. Um, so uh, bring me to uh, last question. A few last question is that uh, in 2000, right now we are in the last quarter of 2017. Uh, what do you foresee going forward uh, in 2017 and also 2018, and how how do you see what is the opportunity in there? Uh, actually, for for the short plan for the next three years, we have a more <laughs> two rounds of HD in Patria, as mentioned before. But for the next year, uh, the question from tourists and tour operators asking us when we have a trade show is what's something, what's new in, at HD? The, 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 the solution is uh, right now we, we cannot create anything like a, a construction, but for Internal content. We plan for a scheduled event for for whole year already, and mix between uh, cultural content and international music line up. And one of our partner in, in the hotel belong to the river set up around three big campaign like a Bangkok River partner. It could maybe member of this group is a hotel and the content that should be like a one is a like a dining. Uh, Dining show promotion. One is a music festival, and another another one is a set, we try to set something like a lighting festival, like a really Sydney. Because the uh, consult, consultant for this group is uh, come from Sydney. That that's something new for promote for the 2018 at HD. Yes. So so you mentioned a lot about uh, promotion and also uh, the event that you're going to have uh, in Asia Teak. Um, I'm, I'm more interested in uh, what's it going to be different from, you know, in the past and, and looking forward to the future. Like, do you focus in on some other sector or something? Actually, we try to set up on the Bangkok River for, for the for the Bangra. <coughs> After TCDC set up the, the, the head office and at the location, they said the location become a, like a Bangkok Creative District. The content inside is about the design and cultural content. For move, when you move to AGT, we try to set AGT like an entertainment hub on the river. Because we have a very big venue that on, the, on the river. And try to set like a big event or mostly, actually this year we stopped the EV announcer at the, at the venue. That's a, that has, that, that's a, a policy in the group to, to skip the event like that for, for, for this year. Okay. During to our kids. 
and next year maybe become return to like a more entertainment than this year. Thank you very much. Okay, let's pass the question on to um, to uh, the this year and next year. Um, what do you see the potential in, in those market? Do you um, do you have potential? Uh, you know the market that you want to go after, or do you see any other changes? It's in being addition of the pricing of the purchasing power of the marketing, the growing of uh, the digital platform. I think it will help us to to grab the opportunity. Uh, for example, we, we have the cross-border uh, e-commerce uh, and also the application and also the, the platform. Uh, now we, we receive the, the uh, application that's uh, healthcare application we partner in Shenzhen. They have uh, more than one million active users. And we have the uh, online counseling so the, the patient at the same time, uh, they can consult with uh, our coordinator or even our doctor in Thailand before they go before they go into health treatment. So I think the the uh, uh, economy will, will change to 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 the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're saying uh, you think it will be more moving towards digital platform. Yes, yes. And we should uh, invest in our time and effort into those kind of platform to to do both marketing and uh, attracting a more Chinese uh, yeah, yeah. over. Yeah. Oh wow, well, that's very good. Okay, um, those are all the questions on here. I do I do have a lot of this question uh, from from uh, you know people back home, uh, but maybe I just open up the floor for you guys to answer any uh, burning question right now. Just raise your hands up, and then we will pass the mic on to you. Okay. Please. Good evening. Um, my partner here and I, we are real estate agents. Mm. Um, we've been in this line for many, many years, and I dare say we're very successful. Um, we hear and we read that um, Chinese um, investors for property, for real estate, um, when they go overseas, Thailand is one of the top five countries they come to for various reasons, proximity, affordability, similarity, culture, they enjoy being here. We also hear that the value of the properties they buy in the last five years are going up. And it is a fact that um, for Bangkok at least, uh, expats with work permit, Chinese are number two now and they're going very fast. Now, do you have any thoughts on how real estate agents or realtors can tap into the Chinese market in terms of finding clients who can buy high value items, high, high ticket properties here in Bangkok or in Thailand? Do you have any suggestions at all? Okay. I do have a few answers of my own, but we have also issues CCC uh, land since, since you own a lot of uh, you know, real estate uh, projects. So what is it going for? Actually, uh, I'm, I'm staying a bit far from, from real estate for sale, but for, for the pricing of real estate in Bangkok still still low and still increasing for the past five years, you see. That's why our, our Chinese uh, China persons try to look in new Second, uh, invest in the real estate in Thailand. And a lot of Thai developers try to uh, launch new product in the major city in China's Chinese to Thai target, like a uh, uh, Thailand, Hong Kong, and big, big major city in China. Mainly it's a century and uh, mainly it's a century and the brand of as you see. So, so maybe just try to put um, our shoes in, in his uh, position right now. Um, what, which, as a real estate agent company, um, what, how do you, how would you market yourself to Chinese uh, mar um, to customers? How would you attract if you are, um, you know, owner or real estate agent? Uh, how would you let your uh, Chinese customer know that uh, you are here and you know contact us? Uh, maybe sales. Uh, the agent has a very big, actually they have a big network. I, I think the, the how to penetrate the Chinese market for real estate, they should be looking for the right partner and right network. Because a, a lot of uh, property uh, sales agent freelancer in, in, in China, mostly in uh, Hong, Hong Kong and Singapore, and have this platform too. Looking for the right partner and set a network and database for the sales agent is very should be. Right, strategy. Okay. 
Uh, I think I have a little bit. Uh, do you have anything to add? Yeah. Uh, but one thing that I saw um, recently, uh, there was be, there's a, a Chinese platform, uh, online platform coming open here in Thailand called Yu Yolu. Um, those are actually very big on uh, investor, Chinese investor also. And we also see, um, so, so like for a developer, right, uh, you, have the, you have like those kind of platform that you can go on to. Uh, the second option is to get agent, uh, right, just to, to take over uh, some portion of the condominiums and then resell it to China. Uh, I saw some developer actually uh, do their own marketing also, uh, going to Chinese market and do open an expedition. Uh, they do that not because they want to directly sell to the customers, but they just make sure that uh, agency uh, knows that they are serious. And what uh, I find the most promising for them is that they find a lot of uh, partner, just like um, the hospitals here. They find a lot of partner who can send um, customers to them. So um, just put that into perspective for um, agency. If you find a Chinese partner or Chinese real estate agent, uh, that can send over uh, Chinese customers, and uh, that may, may be a good option for you. Okay. Um, any other questions? Yes, please. I do have difficulty um, hiring Chinese-speaking Thai. Okay. Um, yeah, that can you know attract the Chinese tourists. So I don't know, like in your hospital or initiative, um, how do you train your people to speak? Mandarin. Okay. To communicate with um, the Chinese maybe child, child, child. Maybe share a little bit. Uh, what is your company? And uh, it's a Thai, a Thai company, right? It's a Thai company. And what what kind of business do you? Uh, I market uh sukkah. What? Sukkah. Bread. 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 Okay. Bread and langno. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Yes, correct. So we have six hundred over promoters. Yep. But it's so difficult to find. Like people who speak Chinese, ah, so where do I get these resources? Okay. Any tips? Yeah, I think that's 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 for you. Okay. <laughs> how how do you find either Chinese people who is in Thailand speak Thai or Thai people who speak Chinese? Yeah, that's how right. Find that? But in our hometown, we the 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 Chinese the person that, that can speak Thai. Uh, we we prove that uh, uh, if they can speak native Chinese to to the country. But the, the way to find, I think, we uh, got the, uh, the one and, and she referred the friend to where, where use uh, uh, the WeChat or they can a lot of them work. If, if, if we find the one and, and, and you so feel every Chinese, Chinese yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Actually, um, if you uh, look at Thai, in Thailand, um, there's a lot of students here also. Uh, 40,000 or 50,000 over students uh, in Thailand. Also, a lot of people working here in Thailand also. Okay. And any, any, any other way to find Chinese speaking staff? Actually, the solution should be hired as a Chinese person. Mm, Chinese yes. person, okay. How do you find it normally, do you know? Actually, we, we have a, a recommendation from the TA first <coughs> because mostly upsell, uh, the representative office in TAT uh, already hired the, the Chinese person to working for the Chinese market. Oh, I see. Okay, that's very clever. Okay. And I, I understand that there's actually um, a platform for Chinese to, to find look for jobs also. So um, that's, that's maybe you definitely uh, know it down. It's called Taigou.com. Taigou T-A-I-G-U-O, Taigou.com. That's a pun tip for Chinese in Thailand. T-A-I Thai, right? Uh, and T-U-O, Taigou. Com. That's that's the place where if you post something there, people will just contact you. And also, there's a uh, uh, we know we know some platform who's a recruitment industry also. So just let uh, us know. Any other questions? Maybe we have time for like a few more too.
they have the treatment in Thailand because of the infancy need uh, around two weeks or one month for stay in Thailand. So during that time, they have the uh, also traveling in the Thailand also. Uh, and then they, they, they both uh, come with uh, agency and also the, the, the direct with our website and, and direct to our office. Both, both come with uh, the agency and, and fly in by themselves. By themselves. Okay, uh, I think today we have a lot of opportunity. Uh, do we have time for one more? Yeah, quick one. Quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good, fine, go. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, also to medical, right? So, uh, do you mind sharing approximately what's uh, the budgets that you're spending on the marketing in China currently? Like maybe yearly or monthly, because uh, uh, me here and partner, we're doing digital marketing for Chinese in China and as well from, uh, for Chinese tourists in Thailand. So, like, uh, because we know the traffic is very expensive over there, specifically digital. So, just wondering how you compare the traffic that you are finding there and how much do you spend per month or year in budgets? Uh, no, no, we will not get uh, at the percentage of sale. So, you yeah, don't yeah. do any digital? Uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, percentage yeah. of sale. It's, it's, it's not a fixed thing, thing. it's just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. around, around five, 5 to 10%. 5 to 10% of sales. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so if you forecasting like one million, then you do five percent of that. That's a new budget. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm not sure if that's going to answer your question though. <laughs> but uh, but it's like it, it, yeah, like maybe maybe not uh, specifically for your um, hospitals, but like generally, do you know like uh, how much uh, should a company spend on China to get you know uh, get things going? Like roughly like ten thousand in the ten thousands or hundred thousands per month or. A uh, million per month. Or like that. I think around uh, maybe maybe one hundred thousand per month. Yes, right. Talk about but, 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 uh, okay. Only in one 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 city. One city. Okay. Um, anything for for you guys? Anything to share about the budget uh, in, in general? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have a for HT marketing budget about uh, for for example. For our countdown event, we have around 30 million. Only, only one event. That we, we try to set about six big events for next year. Can you explain? 30 million baht, right? Yeah, 30 million baht, yes. And okay. are you targeting those users? Oh, those are events, right? And, okay. and how do you. Those are like budget overall? Yeah, budget yeah, for digital. Around 30% for communication. Anything for digital? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, today I'm, I'm sure, I hope that you guys have a lot of uh, uh, useful information. I know that the time is a, bit, a little bit short, so if you have any other question after this, just uh, email um, maybe Simon or anyone in, in uh, the staff area. We try to answer them as best as, as we could. Uh, and also, um, we have to um, thank you uh, both of the guests um, for uh, spending time with us today. And uh, if you hang around, uh, we have networking events, so um, you might be approached by a bunch of people. Okay. <laughs> okay. So maybe a round of applause for the guests, please. Before I pass the mic back to the MC, uh, I would just like to, to conclude and everything. I think um, we will see that different uh, type of um, companies uh, do different ways of marketing. Uh, some people partner up with Chinese uh, partner. Uh, some people um, do by themselves, uh, use digital form or even uh, support from TAT. Uh, so I think uh, for your own benefit, then uh, you have to plan ahead. Uh, I know some channel, uh, you might need to use uh, a lot of budget uh, into it. And uh, now nowadays, uh, people share that digital is coming. So um, allocate more of your resource to, to the capital, uh, to, to the digital side. Big. Networking redefined.